Oh. Zuki Shinra Tofu, yeah. Cool. It's, it's Hanukkah, Utsuru, Chikage, oh. What are your thoughts on Shinra and Tokyo kind of not working very well together? I think they work fine together. Both players redrawing two. Understandable. Very important with Hanukkah. You want to know what your bottom cards are, I guess, because you're going to be stacking your deck. First pass through the season's turn and bloom effects. Okay, classic Mizuki opener. Steady advancing, scripting free, yep. There is the bloom begin. Hmm. I'll be setting up some kind of reaction. Mm -mm. Interesting. Okay. This has to be bonded to, yeah. Otherwise, you lose your card anyway, which puts him for in a position where he can guardian spirit free. Oh, we're reaping first. Okay. Okay. It's reaping windy stage, which is pretty rough. That means he's not playing Guardian Spirit this turn. Okay, so we do two. That's solid. We're going to eat a life damage from... Oh, we're not, because we're moving back again. Interesting plays. Okay. Ah, that's really bad. That's 
three shuffle is something you want to see, though, so. Could be worse. I think the card you want to see least right now, if you're YHS, is Dark Pulse. I'm guessing because he has to think about it, he must have um, drawn his Guardian Spirit. But we'll see. Ah. Okay. Not the most value you could get, but still strong. That's kind of an indication that he he brought the Light to Shadow special too, but that could be bluff. Use advance three here, probably. Yep. Right now, Guardian Spirit loses to Bulwark and Song and Dance Wash. See if he has either of those three cards. Wow, oh, Import just slammed that. I just don't seem concerned about the point. or just can't do anything about it. With three cards, none of them being a reaction that can stop that, I find that hard to believe. It's looking like m game, though. Uh, well, that explains that. One bigger shy. Interesting. He could have uh, activated Polite Return by playing. Um, oh, wait, no, he did the. Uh, I see. Yeah, never mind. That's rough. Why would you. Mm. Having zero aura is also a problem for sure. And I suppose if you don't do two forward three, you end up um, getting Dark Pulse before the Guardian Spirit, right? So you would lose your Polite Return anyway. Goodbye, the rest of your aura. I suspect. I don't think there's anything left to play around. Yeah, you take this to aura for sure. I think.
And then what's the worst punish M4 can do here? I think that would be Dictate. Yep, that's still pretty bad, but one of the better than hitting uh, Reap to life. I guess you could have taken Reap to Flare and then block that with Aura. That's just an awful feeling. Also, my cards appear to be out of date. Nope, nope, it's up to date on the, the thumbnail. Fair enough. Right, five life behind. Sure. Windy stage. Okay, gating. Terminal. Um, wonder why we're not playing sunny stage. Because it's also terminal. I guess you have to choose one or the other. Ah, uh, he does have the breakpoint. Yeah. Goodbye, sunny stage. We're in terminal now because shield bearer was used. Oh, wait, no, we're not in terminal because OTK. Okay, okay. We play shield bearer and that stops Dark Pulse from putting us into destructive spirit range. It's good. Bulwark is offline now though because he's reacted with uh, shield soldier. Uh, he does have pedal storm.
That's pretty rough. Two and four gains of life. And decides to play, but just finish it up. Okay, yeah, brutal. Thinking about charge, what? We're clinching instead. I saw he played the throw out card. He changed his mind. Oh, okay. If he played it, then he's done. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because he just loses to Uka. You're right. The no reactions. Four, three. Uh, not Ashen. How about that? Oh, in the name of this flag. Oh. Can't hide from Uka. Now what? Cavalry. You have to play cavalry and have play return. But there's no winning this game. Gosh, I don't even think M4 has used a single special this game. That's just brutal. Is he going for the achievement where he ends on more life than he started? <laughs> That's no longer possible. He's apparently gotten to that state before, but he lost that game, apparently. He told me. Apparently, well, 10 life is not the maximum. 
Yeah, the pool's infinite, just like you for that. Yeah. I only learned of that. I think like last month. This game really doesn't have that many life gain effects though, so. Okay, so he has enough aura to not die to Uka. M4 can... In the name of this flag, to make shadow, and then finish with the full moon, though. Range 4. Assuming he wrote in the name of this flag, which I think is a reasonably safe assumption. Granted, full moon loses the bulwark, so yeah, that won't work. The safe play here is, yeah, but basically just to either wait until you can uka for lethal, or just wait for your opponent to reshuffle to death. There's literally nothing my just can do. And all your actions to defend yourself and no resources left to attack. And then you just die to attrition. And if he spends his flare here, he dies to Curse of Ashes, so yeah. Absolutely nothing. Okay, M4 takes us to Aura, and you die to Curse of Ashes. Unless you recover. Like, once. Hey, okay, see from Uka again. Yeah, at this point you just focus and recover, and pass the turn. Okay, so necessary stall, but you're not playing a big golem deck, so you can't stall forever. It's 
spirit. Take the frustration damage and then recover it with... Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Play, uh, opponent play Glancing Strike before? No. Oh, so what's his last card? Those two? Oh, this one. All right, gosh. All right. So, why he only bring two attacking cards as a normal card? What does this life be? Holy hell. Yeah, M4 is bullying YHS. It's fine. Since M4 know his opponent's hand is sunny stage, winning stage, and the, the throw out from meets the key. And force him cannot reshuffle, then done. Uh, yeah, yeah, he has to migrate here. That makes sense why you would play it out now. He wants to. Well, I would play one more card first, right? Yeah. Not okay. Wow, bully. No way. To bully. Lie. <laughs> <laughs> I expect it. No reshuffle, and the attack completely whiffs. Right. Wait, what? Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, they cancel the attack and also cancel the after attack. Fucking GG then. <laughs> right. So, how you pronounce the YHSXSX? I just say YHS. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, YHS doesn't bring much attack card. So, you have those four. You only have three attack card. How they call it? Oh, no. Those. Oh, no, only have two. Those two. Thanks, Westlord. Oh, no. No, he just forgot that the attack missed. Like the, you had me convinced that there wasn't enough shadow for him to take it from shadow. <laughs> and then I'm like, wait. Oh, yeah, that's possible. Is this a league match or... Uh... This is the league match, yeah, for Life League. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I didn't expect this much of an imbalance in a league match. Mm. I don't think YHS is comfortable with his Nagami. I think YHS play a weird deck. Only with two attack red cards in her in his normal card deck. Yeah, I don't I don't think this is a uh, a comp he's familiar with. Hmm. Just okay, based on what I've what? seen. Next when next time when I play with M4, I always spend Honoka, no matter what others are. <laughs> <laughs> Can you really fucking like Honoka for somebody? <laughs> <laughs> oh, GG. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, so you have no aura, one life, and no cards in your deck. That's game. Yeah. Hey, look in the name of this flag. You did have it. Is he going for a full control deck? Who? M4? Oh, why just? Why just? Oh, why just? No, you cannot control anything. <laughs> so dark pulse. Um, 
I think. I'm kind of wondering what his uh, plan of action would actually be. What's his win condition? Mm, right. It's weird he didn't yeah. bring uh, Glancing uh, Strike. 